Maybe I'm making this video to be helpful, or maybe I'm just showing off about the fact I have a Movi. But either way, today I'm going to show you how to balance a Canon C100 Mark II on the Freefly Movi M5. Now, if you look at the official Freefly website, you'll see that whilst the C100 is supported by the M5, officially, the C100 Mark II isn't. But don't worry, it can be done. First, attach the base plate to the camera. If you have any of the larger Canon batteries, then use them because it will move the center of gravity further back, which will allow you to mount your C100 Mark II further forwards, and that will make it less likely that the viewfinder hits on the back of the gimbal. Talking of the viewfinder, if you're using the eye cup, then you'll need to remove it. Next, you want to take the top section of the Movi cage off, as the C100 is too tall to fit on with the top section in place. Next, you want to release the bottom catch and the Movi cage. Make sure you have an SD card in the C100 Mark II and that you remove the lens cap, as this will affect the balance. Once you've done that, slide the camera into the base plate mounting system and then slide it forwards and backwards until you have the camera balanced. It shouldn't be tipping forwards or back too much. This is only a rough calibration because next, we're going to rotate the Moby cage 90 degrees. Then we're going to move the sides of the cage backwards and forwards until the Moby cage isn't trying to flip over. Spin the Moby cage back round to its normal orientation and then rebalance the C100 Mark II to make sure that it isn't tipping forwards or backwards. After this, we adjust the roll axis. If you have balanced your C100 Mark II on your Moby properly, then it should stay pretty much where you leave it when you face it in any direction. After that, we're going to spin the entire gimbal round 90 degrees and balance the pan. Once you've done that, grab a Movi battery, put it in the battery holder, connect up the red connections and turn the Movi on. Open the Movi app and press Auto-Tune. Once you've done that, it might be a good idea to play around with the settings of Majestic mode. I find that it's a good idea to decrease the pan and especially the tilt window so that the viewfinder is less likely to hit the back of the Movi. The window is basically how far you can move the Movi before the gimbal responds and centers the camera. The window is basically how much movement the Movi will ignore before it re-centers the camera. Next, assuming you actually want to see what your camera is doing, you'll need to mount a monitor onto your Movi. I'm using a Ninja Blade, a Magic Arm, and a Niwa clamp. Finally, whilst you can control your C100 Mark II using the buttons on the camera, it's much easier to control it with the side handle, and it's essential if you want to be able to unlock and lock the autofocus. So, I bought the Zakuto ENG Grip Relocator, which is quite an expensive way to spend £250, but it's well built and it does the job nicely. I have it angled like this so that I can still get my entire hand around the Movi grip and I have easy access to the autofocus lock and unlock button. And there you go, you now have a C100 Mark II set up on a Movi M5. You can go out, get some great footage and get some paying jobs so you can save up for a Movi Pro. If you enjoyed this video then please consider leaving a like and subscribe so as not to miss any new videos. See you later.